feel significant. Yeah. Have you all had a nice day? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Anybody already a little bit tipsy? Yeah. No? Just jokes, just jokes. These are the jokes. Well, thank you for coming to see a little known northern band called the Lancashire Hot Pots. Yeah. We, um, we've been doing this a few years, but we're still not very good. So thank you for paying full price for your tickets if you did. We apologise in advance, but let's just have a bit of fun with it, eh? So, so we do a bit of business uh, before we get cracking. Is there anyone here tonight that's never seen the Hot Pots before? Well, you've took a chance and you're here now. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a state now that tickets are non-refundable. Whatever you think of it. I mean, you can try Martin Lewis, but he's got bigger fish to fry. And I know what's happened. There'll be a lot of instances where the fellas, they're really into the hot pots, and they've got their, uh, their significant mother, they've dragged them along, and there's, somebody, and there's somebody sat there next to them, they've probably got their arms folded, yeah. going, I'm not gonna enjoy it. Just, just let us, it'll probably surprise you. It's like walking the dog and finding a fiver on the floor. <laughs> you might get a nice surprise. Oh, oh, which oh, sounds better. Yeah, or you, or you could step into something and it's a really horrible experience. Next time it comes back. Either way, we're here now and we'll get cracking. Thank you again, and we are the Lancashire Hot Pots. Cheers, Cracker. <laughs> it goes like this. Please be friendly. Please be friendly. Please be Goes to 
Thanks very much. Right, are you ready? First, first thing from Tin Room this evening. Get ready for this. <laughs> Now then, uh, Ikea man, we know that Superman stands for Truth, Justice and the American Way. What does an Ikea man stand for? Quality meatballs at low, low prices! Non-alcoholic cider? <laughs> and, um, I've never been, so I don't know what else. Right then, come on, let's see your hands in the air nice and early. It's panto, but in summertime, so loads are joining in tonight. And we use the term summertime very, very loosely. We have two days. It's dead now, it's gone. This is a little song called I Fear Ikea. Let's see you massively. Come on, get swinging with me. Since 
gigging since 2007. Everybody. Shane is insane. Oh, that's a long time. That was so long ago the internet was in black and white. <laughs> and you had to print everything off on a dot matrix printer. But in 2007, we released an album called Nevermind the Hot Pots. Yeah. It didn't chart, it didn't chart. And the world was never quite the same again since. So what we'd like to do now is to continue on that old school tip and present you with an old school banger from that very album. This is a little bit called eBay. Is I'm gonna get uh, minted on Vinted. <laughs> see, see, I've got, I've got the youth demographic. <laughs> but we are gonna have pool crowd, so let's see what they make of this. the audience what they think of the bar prices oh. in the Grand Theatre Blackpool. Yeah. I think they're all shouting reasonable. There was, there was a girl there who I think he said they were a hit. He said hit. Now I'm I think he said they were all right. All right. He said all right. security. Now I is the is the security that's the, that's, that's the worrying thing. Now, I'm not saying I'm old, but I remember back to when I was maybe 18 or 19. If there's anyone under 40, you're gonna cry listening to this. Right, my, one of my first drinking adventures, this, this, this would be quite a good video. My yeah. first drinking adventures, 89. We was in a pub called The Bull's Head. First off, good name for a pub. Lovely, lovely. 
First and you, were, you were the right age to go into a pub at 14. Oh, yes, I did. The legal drinking age. Pints of bodies, 88p a pint. Oh, Can you imagine? Creamy. So, five pints of bodies, chip barn cake from the chipping over the road, bus home, I still had the change from a fiver. Come on! Now, a fiver will buy you nothing in this day and age. Well, if you change it into two peas, you'll get quite a lot of time into it. <laughs> no, you can buy for 88p these days. What? An Ikea man cost you your team movie, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, we give the secrets away. It takes six months to get it, boy, 88p. Shopping like the deals you need. It's not going to like you, but you've got to keep that hat on for the fun. He <laughs> loves it so much. Keep music live, ladies and gentlemen. You can also get bass players from TV as well. <laughs> well, listen, in, in addition to Dickie's story, if you do want to refuse to pay those prices at the bar, don't bother. Just wait until your mate goes up and give it one of them. Whoa! Steve! Hello, are you? Hello, And you get free drinks all night until somebody tells you to get out. In which case, Nick Tesco gets some drinks. Happy right. days. Right. This is not that one we're here. Right, lads. I'm popping up the bar. Hey, that one we're here. Hey, that one we're here. That one we're here. That one we're here. I'll have one with you. Same thing as Well, here we are, we could work a nice face with this. We get to do what you like today's not to be missed. So make the call. Set the wheels in motion This is it Together you and all your friends Can make this night a hit And if you pop it up the bar Sing! I like one way yeah. If you go it up the bar Come on! I like one way yeah. If you pop it up the bar
for about two weeks. <laughs> so, it is, you, you'd never really believe it from the weather outside. It's pretty summertime, isn't it? And we find ourselves in the UK's number one resort of Blackpool. So, it's summer holiday time. Whenever I think of summer holidays, I make a beeline and a destination, not to Blackpool, but to the Costa del Sol. Yeah. He's got the money, don't you worry about that. Sorry to anyone who might be in from the Blackpool Tourist Board. I need a bit of summer, my boats. Thank you very much. So we've got a little summertime back before you know. It's relatively new, this one from the hot pot. But it has got a bit of a, a bit of a dancey vibe, so if you've got any dancers in, you can get funky to this one. There's also your first and second opportunity to join in with some hand gestures, keep it clean. In the corners we want you to get up like this, and then get down like that. There's a bit of getting funky, but that's all the stuff in it. Alright. This one's all about um, not so much pants people, chip pants. Chip pants people, write that write down. down well. <laughs> then write that down. I'll, uh, I'll do, I've immediately forgot it. What are you about? Chip pants people. It's all right to look. Again, we're referencing things that people don't know. Here we go then. <laughs> this song is all about your holiday beginning, not when you get to your destination, but when you get to Witherspoon to the airport. <laughs> That's when your holiday begins. This is called Alka Holidays. Ladies and gentlemen of Blackpool, this is a customer announcement. Hopefully before the end of the year. 
have a look. We have got some, some other tracks are bubbling, but can't tell you about those just at the moment. Very exciting. Very can't even tell the rest of the band about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. keeping them all to himself, is it? <laughs> now, Blackpool is, um, it has a very, very wide catchment area. I would imagine there are some people with us tonight who are from Scotland. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just to be Scottish. All oh, right. Okay. I would imagine there are some people from the North East. One or two. A couple. <laughs> no, not John. Um, um, there are going to be some people from the Midlands. Eight. But I would imagine the loudest cheer that we're going to get is the people from the North. Of North have got them all in. But is there anybody in that would describe themselves as identifying as somebody from the South? Yeah. Yeah. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. They've not seen it like this before. They don't know what's going down. <laughs> be nice, be nice. We're all Northerners tonight when we're in here. And we all love the North, and that's what this song's called, We Love the North. So, yeah. you can join in by singing We Love the North in an appropriate place. Just watch Dickie, and he'll show you how it goes. It goes like this.
go through chorus of Allegheny. So you go, we love the north, we love the north, we love the north. Come on up and see us in the north. That's your bit. We'll do the other bit. Are you in? Yeah. yeah. Dickie's gone fill me tear on the um, thigh phone there. It's in 4K. It's in the hood. He's got it all set up. It's your time to shine. So we'll give it the one, two, three, and you all go, we love the north. Are you ready? Yeah. Wasn't very convincing, I'll be honest. <laughs> Remember, this is summertime panto. Are you ready? Yes! What we'll, we'll do is we'll edit it, though. No? <laughs> Which I've ruined by doing this bit. So we'll do it again, edit all this bit out, and then you can see yourself singing this one. Are you ready? Yes! One, two, three. It's the place to be, we love the door. It's for you and me, we love the door. Come on up and see us in the door. Here we go. We love the door. It's the place to dream, we love the door. The best football team. Some people have been out all day, haven't they? People too soon, seeing other faces, looking other faces. Now, I like to think that one of the major successes of the Lancashire Hot Pot is that we reach a very broad audience in terms of ages. Lots of people like the Hot Pots, from nieces to nans. We're the look at a wide age range. Uh, have we got any? Because the thing is, I'm always thinking about what lies ahead and whether we've got a nice, strong, young fan base. Is there anyone in here tonight that's maybe under the age of 30? Oh, to see you. That's very good, that's very good. Now, from that particular crowd, have we got any sweethearts? Have we got any young lovers in? People in love under 30? Well, I envy you because we're all dead old. Part of the like that then. Cheer. Cheap, we are in love, time. <laughs> Demand, no domestics, please. please. Right. You young people, when you're in love, when you're apart, when you're apart from your sweetheart, what generally tends to happen is that when you get that, you get that aching in your chest, because you say, oh, that longing, that burning. The trouble is you get to our age, and the only way to get that same burning in your chest is when you eat pastry at the eight o'clock at night. <laughs> triple it. Ow, triple it. Sat there, sat there watching uh, Emma Down Farm. And the one remedy to try and fix it is not chilling people to wine. As you found to your cost. So, what we found is, within the hot pots, there's a hierarchy of indigestion tablets. Right, at the bottom level one, there's, there's Laszlo's uh, hierarchy of indigestion tablets. There's your Rennies. Yeah. Now, they're widely available, but they do not. The Rennies are for kids. They do not. Next tier, Getting better is your Gavascons. Yeah. 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 not chunky villagers. Yeah. But what we found is the gods here, the really good stuff, the stuff that everyone needs. And this is going to get a great big cheer. Give, it, give us a, a cheer for the young metals. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can guarantee that out of every concert and game that's happening tonight, we're the only band that's mentioning all the ones that are on stage. Well, we got Mr. Coldplay to show us. All right. So this is a song all about heartburn. It's called Heartburn. It's in a slightly country of Western style, which is why I'm wearing a, uh, a, a cowboy style hat. What you can do to join in, not only by saying heartburn during the appropriate place, is you can give it a little... Yeah! This is called that, yeah, that's right. Here we go, we're part of the hidden game. Oh, my God. 
all me. Zulu X Shot Sword Pirate X Shot Dunk on six plus. But it's magical. Because when it goes like this, you all go key on. You ready? Doing that for about four minutes. <laughs> it's all good. I'm going to give you the box. I mean, character. Just believe. It's like Disneyland. Oh, oh. I used to have a pirate. I used to have a pirate. Parrot. Parrot. I'm a pirate. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Again, there's a lot to remember. 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 There's <laughs> I'm a pirate. Yeah. I used to have a parrot. Yeah. Now, for no reason whatsoever, I've got a well dressed meerkat. <laughs> Good evening, Alexander. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> Anything else to add?
Would you rather have Coldplay or Pyra Bernard? Pyra Bernard! You are right. We really should be pyramid stage at last every show. Yes. yes! Bernard, you missed him. Who? Pyra Bernard, he was here, wasn't he, Barpool? Yes! Oh, no, he wasn't! Oh, yes, he was! They're all in there in the covers. Shannon! Uh, this next song is another new song from the Hot Pots. And it's all about dating. The perilous world of dating. Now then, dating is a very modern thing. You, do, you can do it all online these days. There's loads of dating apps and websites and you can go on there and when you try to find a match for a particular partner, you can type in the interests of the other person that you'd like to meet. For example, Bernard, you might want to meet uh, a, a, you know, a partner who um, likes uh, two pink machines at Black Two pink machines at Black Pearl. She's all right. Maybe, maybe likes a drink. Yes. Or let me drink a cheese drop with my mother, but that's, that's even better. I'll drive there, you drive back. It's a hot pot, so I'll check it out. Now then, there's one particular member of the band, and he stood behind me, and Billy's criteria for an ideal partner would be a, a lady with a well-stocked cupboard. Yes. Now, that's not a euphemism. It's a family show. It is a family show. And what I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll let Billy explain it. Would you please welcome to the microphone, Mr. Billy McCartney. Hey! Thank you very much. Thanks, Mum. Everyone having a good time? Yeah. I'll ask you that again in about five minutes, time. So what do you think of the jacket? Yeah. The jacket? Yeah. I was going to get a silver hat to go with this, but the only yeah. hat that I could find makes me look like a really camp Freddy Krueger. So, uh, <laughs> Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, yeah. But my name is Billy McCartney and I love snacks. Yes. He's the Chris Connoisseur. And the snacks love me. Um, so for this next song, I'm back in the band to the Lancaster Bundicoff. Lancaster Shuffleboard. I'm going to work as your answer's going to work. Hello, Parkers. <laughs> this song is called I Want Your Snacks. Yeah. Yeah.
Pastor Wayne. One more time now for Mary McCartney. Okay, okay. One, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're getting close to the half time interval. Well, we need for about 20 minutes. We say 20 minutes, it depends how quick you come back from the bar for yours. And then in second half, it, you know, it'll be less pants or more, more bingo bang, alright? But before we get there, it's time to get silly. And it's time to get a little bit sweaty. We're entering the party yeah. section, but yeah. some people might call it the Voltaroll section because they <laughs> want you doing some moves and maybe you'll put your feet lamp up with you. If you're willing and able, yes. stand, stand up for this one. Once again, let's get those house lights. Just, just a little bit so we can see everybody joining in. Now, this next one is called Lean Forwards, Lean Backwards. Yeah. But, but, you lot, just be careful. You lot up there, we've not filled out the forms for you lot. Lip, lip. When you do your lean forward, just probably just like that. Jamie, you can give it the big one. Just not the stairs, not. Alright. Watch us for the moves. We've got three songs in this little section. Three songs to be on your feet. Three songs to be dancing. And then it's bar time and we'll see you in the second half. We hope you've enjoyed yourself. Hey. Here we go then. This is lean forwards, lean backwards. We're going to start with some sway. Sway that one. Sway, 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 sway. sway. That's very good. Keep going. Well, we're going to be thinking. The party is starting. You know we'll be here. We're going to have fun. I want you to join in. Get ready for the actions. I hope you take part. Follow my instructions and let's go. Here we go. Lift forward, 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 lift
favourite man in the audience, I've just spotted Spike. Give us a wave, Spike, are you there? We can see you. Good yeah. to see you again, Spike. All right, last one then. Last one. Then you can rehydrate hey. at the reasonably priced bar, as previously discussed. This next song is called The Perfect Point. Oh. The, the full gymnastics required to do this song are of Olympic standards. So if you can join in with this one, full respect to you. But to join in with the dance moves, all you're going to do is bob up and down in time with the music. Let's see where you're at. This is the perfect point. Thank you for enjoying and hopefully enjoying the first half with the Opos. Here's Van Hurl. We'll see you on to the side.
Jolly Robinson. Jolly Robinson. Right, we've put a song in the set now that hopefully will please some fans of heavy metal. Woo! Of course, on the brochure it says, the Lancashire Rock Pots, commonly called band. However, we're going to cross now into a world of very, very dark metal. If you are easily frightened, put your earplugs in now because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's quite raw. <coughs> and what code uh, will you be using to uh, exemplify uh, the world of heavy metal? C major! Hey! <laughs> okay, you need to get some pens of anger. Like somebody's just stole your tickets from Coral Island. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get it from there. Yay! A big, a, big, a big punk rock glory in a death metal song. <laughs> Let's see if anyone knows this one. It's called He's Turned Me Up.
Yes, indeed, yes. I think you would agree that there is currently so much flavour on stage we don't even know what's going down. What would it take? Woo! Six highly visible hot pots about to play some reggae. I tell you what it would taste like. It would taste really nice. Hey! But before that, we've got another little surprise for you. We've been on team again. Chapman, Hill, and Ned. And we've spent another six pound. And we're going to use that to look with some batteries, some very cheap batteries, to do something special for you now. Can we dim all of the lights, please? Both of you do like to hear the countdown. Yes! Four, two, one! Stereotypical scouser who hasn't paid his lecky belt. <laughs> Alright, you know what's coming? This is called Last of Big Mod Big Mod! We're gonna turn you down. <clears throat> Tonight is been day. Get ready, lads. Come on, let's move ourselves, let's get sweaty. Here we go. Yeah, Carl and Mitch was nice too. It's not a good taste, though. If you've been affected by any of the issues mentioned in this song, 
I, I thought it was bothering. <laughs> the Ben and Tasha story, I'm kidding. Okay. You understand what you just said, they call Bovril. So the, the, the diversion the is the musical diversion. Because now we're going to transport you into a nightclub. We're going to transport you into the early 90s. Yeah. Slash late 80s. And, uh, you know, if you want to rave, rave. If you want to do the bumble squat, do the bumble squat. If you want to do a conga, do a conga! Yeah. A musical diversion in this next song, Mom, I like as your DJ, takes us to Paris, where they have created some of the darkest and most dangerous drum and bass ever heard. Can we maybe have a little bit of house lights, please? Because there's going to be some red hot movements going on in the storms area. Congress high, Congress low. Where they go, nobody knows. Alright, strap yourselves in, it's gonna get sweaty. This is like you see DJ!
We're just going to put him down here, side to side, because he's not, he's, not, he's not ready to do the moves that are required for this next song. What does his voice sound like, Bernard? A little more like, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Different every night. Southern dinosaur, though. And you know this is going to be an old song since it's the old book. throughout modern recorded history. There's been the Macarena. It's good doubt. Uh, is that what the Whitfield does? Saturday night, good uh, doubt. The, the, the Chow Chow slide, but we're about to do something that's a, a little bit more broader in terms of its interpretation. And it started in a far and distant land, hence the far and distant <laughs> I've been learning to dance, or as we say up north, dance. I've been watching YouTube and I've been learning how to do the polka. P-O-L-K-A. And there's a specific, a specific type of polka that I've been learning because it's easy. It's called the Chicago Op. There's no H-E hop. The Chicago Op, right? It sort of looks like this. It's a step in the shuffle, that's all it is. Try it, isn't it? It's a step in the shuffle. And this song's all about me learning the polka, and um, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit of fun. I will need help from you good people, so without further ado, let's get to a song about the dance, dance, polka, and I'll try and do the dance and sing the song. Here we go.
Hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on a minute. Need a couple of goals with me blowing air on. That was energetic, quite frenetic. It's time to slow the show down a little. Get, get emotional, if you will. However, this song has got a topic that is so relatable, so true. I mean, they're all true stories. But so relatable that everyone in here will have had this happen to them at some point. But while I catch my breath back, Starting the song off on Lee Vulcans once again. A genuine Lancashire lad, Billy McCartney! Yeah. You've had that with you. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> That's the last time my nan comes to see the lecture hall. <laughs> okay, it looks like this. Billy McCartney, friend of Sam. Here we go. Travel again this week. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Billy McCartney. Do you want to try that again? <laughs> <laughs> I've never made it before. <laughs> and some things can't be better. Keep music live, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Please welcome, on to Lee Buckle, starting the song again. A genuine Lancashire lad, Billy McCartney! Hey! Some of us don't read lyrics from books. Here we go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Billy McCartney here, there's a time when the laughter has to stop, and that time is now. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> like Shut up. <laughs> it all lies the sadness, I think you get the gist. Let me tell you about the saddest thing that tops everybody's list. It could happen to the young or old if you're poor, if you're posh. A heartbreak and a heartache of a tissue with a wash. There we go.
Listen, from the bottom of those hearts, dead serious now, thank you very much for spending your evening with the Do you believe? God bless us. See you all many beautiful people. Right at the top there. All the ways in the top bottom. But all semi professional things must come to an end. And this is the first one of two. And without further ado, first one of two ending. I'm starting to get a little bit peckish. People of Blackpool. Should we go a little bit crazy? I think we've all deserved it. Does anybody fancy a chippy tea?
want more. We 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 want more. More on the right. More on the right. We want more. 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 More on the right. Come on, man. Hey. Oh, big time! Come on. Right, this next one's dedicated to anyone who bought the tickets thinking they were coming to see a folk band. Thank you, Oh, nice. It's been alright, isn't it? Been all right. We're going to play a folk song now, aren't we? We're going to indulge our folk bones and do something, obviously with a hot pot twist. I thought it was uh, This is a song that's called, I oh, will just tell you what it is, it's called Pots on Pots. Ooh. Now, if you've never heard it before and you like it and you want to go and listen to it, don't go onto Spotify and search Pots on Pots <laughs> because there's been some sort of mix up at Apple and Spotify Fizzle HQ. And in it, it is, you type in Pots on Pots and the song Wows As Me Trousers plays. <laughs> Which is a good song. It's a good song. It's not his fault. Not his fault. So, if you want to listen to this, you've got to put in Wows As Me Trousers and you'll hear this song. What's it about, Bird? Well, it's about Hot Pots, members of the Hot Pots having to do the dishes. <laughs> you know, your partner goes to all the trouble of making a beautiful Sunday roast. But you know what's coming. It's your return. So this is what you watch all about. Watch it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Yes, you can't beat the chicken, but what I love most is that British Call Sunday roast. Now the carrots are cracking, and so are the spots. But in the back of my mind, there's a vision of sorts. Cause during the week, a contract was made. A food for washing all services trade. Yes, the wife's could be so she calls the shots. But I'm begging you, please don't make me do pots. I've heard songs where you sell your soul to the devil. And now I'm in house to be cleaning this gravel. And I walk the watchful mob with a few cows. But I'm changing. It's a two-man job, this so help me would be great Do you think I could get the dog to make the lace? I'm a prisoner, trapped in a domestic hell Oh come on, you're not going to make me wipe the cooker as well And the teaspoons in bowl, they play hide and seek I can tell you This kitchen's a bomb site, it looks a disgrace. Me fingers are crinkly like Mick Jagger's face. 
the sun is washing up, it's making me choke. I'm definitely letting that roasting tin so. It's an indecent top of the range dishwashing in. Yes, the wife's company. Now she calls the shots. But I'm begging you, oh, please don't let me do the parts. Thank you very much. Would you please make some noise for the like is your heart? Just before we do start the professional business, I have some professional business of my own, Dickie. Oh, go on, Ron! You're leaving. Uh, <laughs> not yet. We weren't going to tell you tonight. <laughs> uh, so, my daughter, Isabella, is in the audience somewhere. She's up there, apparently, because uh, we give her the cheap seats. Uh, but this week, she passed the sats. So, a big round of applause. This is kind of where you've got to go. <laughs> right, I'm going to do some shout outs. Are those shout outs written on the back of the pizza box? <laughs> right, here we go. Quite a few of these, I shall rattle through them. First up, a shout out to Stuart Riley, that's from Cheryl. Um, we're going to have a shout out to nine year old Brooke Harrison, somewhere on the front row. We're very excited to come and see us all week. Uh, we're going to give a shout out away to our number one hot potter, Matt. He's somewhere here. Yep. Happy birthday to Lily. Lily turns 16 tomorrow. That's for your mum and dad. A uh, big happy birthday to Will Graves. That's from Sean. A uh, shout out to Cassie. Now, Cassie should have seen us in Hull a couple of months back. She couldn't make it then, but she's travelled down the 62 to Whoa. see us in Good Old Blackers tonight. Shout out to Maxwell. It, this is an early 10th birthday present for Maxwell. He's been learning all the songs. Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Rosie Coleman and Rosie's crew. Uh, you know who you are. I'm going to be saying hello to uh, Maya and Sylvia uh, Balandra, I think that is. Who are in their first ever hot pot show. Pop interest. Pop interest. Well done. Shout out to Dimitri, that's from Steph. Hello to Joe and Lexi, it's both their 13th birthdays. Oh, passed into it. But they're not swings, yeah, man. Could be. Uh, happy 16th birthday to Maria Seddon. Happy birthday, Maria. Yeah. Double birthday celebration for Leanne Burroughs and Dave Horton. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ryan Parkinson, who's 11. Oh. I would have preferred an Xbox rather than coming here, but you know. Yeah. Uh, happy fifth wedding anniversary to Helen Lee, that's from Terence. Only gets better from here. It does. Happy 50th birthday to Jim Beresford. Jim was apparently airlifted from Turkey last Saturday. He should be here. Basically, he's taking his pain meds and he's partying with the hot pots. Yeah. Well done, Jim. But he has got fantastic new teeth, so. <laughs> Shout out to Grilled Halloumi Burrito with Downtown Sauce, now to be food order. And lastly, a uh, happy 25th wedding anniversary to Nigel and Gail. And nothing says I love you more than having your shout out written on a pizza box. And you know that, one final bit of professional business. Blackpool, thank you all indeed for coming. Every year you come and you make us basically one of the best nights for the hot pot. So thanks for that. Um, after we finish these couple of songs, we'll towel ourselves down, get out of the brew 33, give it a spray, <laughs> and if you meet some the in the storm, well, you can have a CD um, signed, or a photo, or anything. Um, it'd really help us if you can get a piece of merch on the way out to keep the hot pot show on the road. Yeah. Black girl, thank you, God bless you. We'll see you again next year, if not before. Cheers!
Thank you for joining us tonight. And just one more bit of business before we get on with the music. Can we have some, some good house lights on, but the big ones on? Bob just wants to catch you the moment on film here, on digital film. Just look as, just look as though you're having a nice time. Get those house lights right on the tent. Get them right, turn these on, yeah? Let's hope we can turn them off. That's it, yeah, we can see you. Let's get them lights right down now. If you've still got bags of battery on your phone, get your torch out. Because now it's time for shot mobility security.